so this morning um i go and i see dawn every other wednesday and when we were meditating one of the things that sort of came up was um the importance of staying connected to your heart so as you close your eyes and draw your attention inward you roll your forehead back and forth on the mat <clears throat> Really relax into settling into your heart. And you can do that with breathing, reassuring self-talk, being gentle with yourself. And we'll slide forward, we'll come right into puppy pose. So we're gonna encourage our bodies and our minds to soften. Remember you wanna have your tongue at the roof of your mouth. And on the next breath, let's go right into dolphin. You'll press your forearms into the mat, raise your tailbone towards the ceiling, then descend. So push your tailbone towards the back of the room. You can stay up in your tippy toes if that helps you get a little bit more into your back body. And then slowly lower the heels once you feel like you've worked through the spine. We'll bring our chin towards our thumbs. Just hover. We'll push back. See if you can get your chest closer towards your knees. And then again, we'll come forward. Our chin's going to touch our thumbs. Hover. Push back. One more time, you're gonna lean forward, chin towards the thumbs, hover. Mm, push back. Lower the knees down to the ground and sweep your arms up towards the sky. Reach for the heels of your feet going into a back bend. Push your chest up, hips forward. One more breath. Uh, let's lean forward. Down dog, hands to the mat, tailbone towards the sky. Walk your dog out. Oscillate through the feet, heel to ball to toe. Use that same motion to move yourself forward. Feel your feet connecting to the earth as your hands press away from the floor. On our inhale, we'll lengthen. And on the exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, we'll rise, reach up towards the sky. On the exhale, swan dive, hands come down. Inhale, lengthen. Bring the right leg back. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Grab your props if you need them. Anjane Asana, arms up. Bring your hands down to the mat. Straighten the front leg. Lean back, sit onto the ball of your right foot. Press your fingertips into the mat and then lift the left knee up. I'm going to lift the right hand and then the left hand. Whoop. One more time. Ah, release it. Lean forward. Take the left hand up towards the sky. Reach back for that back foot. Pull it in. 
Get that uh, heel to touch the glute, and then look over towards the left shoulder. And on the next breath, release. Come back again, half splits. Reach your fingertips out in front of you. Reach your fingertips over towards the left. Turn your toes towards the left. Take your torso towards the left. In through the nose and out. Now on the next breath, come back to center. Lean forward. Engage your right leg. Slide the left leg back, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Now bring the right foot through to the top of the mat. Warrior one, arms up. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Helicopter your hands down to the mat. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, lengthening. And on your exhale, extend your fingertips out in front of you even more. Roll on to the blade of the left foot. On your next breath, bring the left foot forward to meet the right forward fold. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. I'd love to listen to you guys breathe. Inhale, arms up like music to my ears. Oh, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Bring the left leg back. Lower your right knee down, or excuse me, your left knee down to the ground. And then again, inhale your arms up. On the exhale, bring your hands down to the back. Straighten the front leg. Now sit on the heels of your foot by your toes. Lift the right leg up. And then work on lifting both of your hands up. Whee! <laughs> Come back to center. <laughs> uh, left hand down, right arm up. You know, go back and stretch that foot out. Pull it all the way in. Get it to touch the back of your glute. Ah, uh, release it. One more time. Take it back. Half splits. Hmm. Take your hands all the way over towards the right. Turn your right foot out. Mm, support the stretch by going with the torso as well. Now we'll come back to center. Lean all the way forward. Have the right foot meet the left foot, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take your left leg up. Bring it through to the top for your one. Oh, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Helicopter the hands down to the mat. Let's straighten the front leg. Lengthen. Hmm. Fold it. And again, inhale, lengthening. We're just trying to get some space in that back body. And exhale, fold it. Have the right foot meet the left foot at the top of the mat. 
lengthen, fold. Arms rise. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, lengthen. Right leg back. Left leg back, high plank. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. One more time, low. High. Side plank on the left. Right arm nice and high. Pull your right heel in. Get the right knee to touch the right nipple. Cycle. So just keep that knee in pretty close. There you go. Now go the other way. You got it, you got it. Oh, bring that knee in towards the nipple. Bring it through to the top of the mat. Warrior one, arms up. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. So today Nancy and I were talking about the training manual. Straight leg or triangle. So straighten your right leg and then reach forward. Now line your right hand up to the right knee as you take your left arm up towards the sky. Ooh, that was nice. Now extend it by drawing that right hand all the way towards the floor. See if you can touch the big toe. Draw that right hip back. Take your left arm up and over. Now push the hips over towards the left side of the room. Now bring the left hand down to the mat. Twist the triangle, so drop your left hip, raise the right arm up. Open up the back body. Now draw your right hip towards the back of the room. Press the big toe of your right foot into the mat. In through the nose and out. Now lower the right hand down to the mat. Take your left leg, place it behind the right ankle. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now inhale, lengthen. See if you can toe heel your feet away from each other just a little bit. And then on your exhale, fold. See if you can get into your chest and thighs. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, up with the flat back. Reach your arms all up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers, have your palms rise. Take your torso towards the right, bend your right knee. Even more. Come back to center. Then take your palms towards the left, straighten your right leg. One more breath. Come back to center. Now hips are gonna come forward. So bend your right knee to make that happen. Draw the collarbone towards the ceiling. Take your gaze towards your thumbs. Hands reach towards the back of your mat. On your exhale, fold it forward. Fingertips come all the way down. Inhale, lengthening. And exhale, folding. Now come up onto your tippy toes and bend your knees. So your ankles are going to be crossed. Now stick your knees in your armpits so you can come into crow pose. Keep your ankles crossed and then lower yourself so you almost feel like your forehead's going to touch the floor. Take your right foot, place it on the mat. Standing splits as the left leg rises. Wrap both of your hands around the ankle of the right leg. 
Extend your left leg as high as you can. Now on your next breath, place your hands down on the mat out in front of you. Take a handstand or jump back into low plank. Find your up dog, find your down dog. The left leg's gonna come through to the top of the mat. No, it's not. Left leg's gonna come up, side plank on the right side. Pull the knee in. Work your obliques as you start to make circles. Remember, you can always lower the right knee down to the ground as a modification. Go the other way. Pull your left knee in. It comes through to the top of the mat. Warrior one, arms up. Now notice how when you're straining, you breathe deeper. Warrior two. Start breathing deeper. Your body begins to open up. Peaceful warrior, right hand down, left arm up. Straighten your front leg. Straight legged like triangle. Start off by just lining your left hand up to the left knee so you can articulate through the hip flexors. And then slowly you'll slide that left hand down to go deeper into those hamstrings. Breathing even more intensely, the right arm comes up. You start to get out of your mind and right into your heart. Didn't even see it coming. Right hand down, left arm up. Now start to get connected to the sensations of what it feels like to get that left hip to go back. Press further into the heel of your right foot. The left hand comes down. Lengthen your spine. Bring the right foot to the outside of the left foot. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, folding. Inhale, lengthening. Toe heel your feet away from each other. And then on your exhale, go a little bit deeper into your legs. On your inhale, bring your hands to your hips. Come up nice and slow with the flat back. Take the arms up nice and high. Interlace your fingers and reach up towards the sky. Take it to the left and bend your left knee. Extend those arms out, exaggerate the stretch. Use the breath to soften into your heart. Come back to center. We're gonna take it to the other side. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Come back to center. Hips forward, chest up, arms back. There's a significant difference between surrender and resignation. Exhale, fold, hands come down. Inhale, lengthen. Bring that right leg up, standing splits. Wrap both hands around your ankle. There you go. 
Now allow that leg to come up nice and high. The balance between effort and ease. Here you go, handstanders. Where you want to take it. See if you can do those long holds. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Downward facing dog. The right foot's going to come through to the top. Warrior one. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Side angle stretch. Let that left arm come up. Lower the left hand down to the mat. Toe heel your right foot over towards the right side of the room. Take your right hand, make a claw. Take it to the back of your right ankle. Slide it towards the right knee so you can drop your left right shoulder underneath your right knee. Now take your left hand and hold on to the right ankle. Now pull the right elbow in towards the middle of your mat. And you may want to rest your right hand right on that right ankle. Mm -hmm. Do you remember this pose? Come up onto the ball of your back foot. Slowly walk that foot in. You're going to lift the left heel up by taking your left knee over to the outside of the right elbow. You take a big breath in and you'll lift your left heel up. Mm -hmm. There you go, Batia. Yes, 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 beautiful. Just like that for five breaths. Come on, Nancy, you can do it. You got to get your shoulder underneath over your knee. Now, everybody, we're going to land in shoelace. So your left leg will be on the bottom. Your right leg will be on the top. Woo! So you know what's going to feel really good after this? Happy cow arms. Take your right arm up towards the sky. Place your right hand between your shoulder blades. Take your left hand behind you. Allow those two palms to meet. You guys remember what the name of that pose is? Uh, mangled yogi. <laughs> Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, lift up, get completely out of there. There you go, there you go. And then exhale, take yourself back down. Go low, 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 low. Inhale, lift up. And on your exhale, go low, low. Now one more time, come all the way up. Release your hands up towards the sky. Yep. Now bring your hands out in front of you so you're in a tabletop position with your twisted roots. Mm -hmm. Now you're gonna go into a headstand. So make sure you're in a good spot somewhere on your mat. And you can place the top of your head on the mat. Where are you going, Sarah Papa? Lift those knees up. Eagle legs as you go up. Let's 
Squeeze those elbows in towards you, and there you go. You'll unwind your legs wide like a straddle. Place them on the floor. There you go. Inhale, lengthen. Take your hands out in front of you. There you go. Now toe heel your feet all the way out to the edges of your mat. Mm -hmm. Full splits. <laughs> this is for you, my bald one. Full splits, mama, full splits. You're so beautiful on your aerial yoga. Full splits, go, 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 go. All right, kids, toe heel your feet in. Even closer, even closer, even closer. Till the right foot meets the left. Inhale, lengthening. Exhale, fold to the chest and thighs, touch. On your inhale, rise, arms up. Take your chair. Bring your hands to prayer. Add your twist, right elbow. Now it's Fallen Angel Day. Does everybody remember how Fallen, what a Fallen Angel looks like? Yes. It's almost close to face planting. So lower yourself down. Place both hands on the mat. Lean forward until your left ear, left temple touches the floor. Then take your right leg towards the sky. And then your left leg towards the sky. So raise that right leg. There you go, Batia. Then your left leg. What you doing, Baldwin? You making stuff up? Yes, Sarah. Yes. Oh, yeah. up, 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 up. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Cindy. All you people at home. I love when you guys are making shit up. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Catch your breath. Let yoga just keep sinking in. <sighs> Inhale your left leg up. Bring it through to the top, warrior one. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior, right hand down, left arm up. Side angle stretch, bring the left hand down to the mat, right arm nice and high. Let that right arm come forward. See if you can get a little bit more into the latissimus. There you go. Now when the right hand comes down, square off your hips. Now toe heel your left foot over towards the edge of your mat. That just helps with the range of motion. Now we're going for mangled warrior. So you take your hand and you make it into a claw. You take it behind the left ankle. You start to slide that left shoulder all the way towards the floor. Your right forearm will naturally drop. Your right hand will hold on to that left foot. There you go, just like that, Justin. Mm -hmm. Now marinate here for a few breaths. Engage that back leg, ladies. There you, that's it, Lisa. Now you gotta take your left elbow and turn it inward. So notice there, yes, yes. Then start to hop your right foot in towards you. Now don't bring it in too close because you'll limit your range of motion. Now you're gonna take your right knee over towards the left side of your mat. 
There you go, Batia. Right knee over towards the left side of the mat. So your right knee is going to go to the outside of your left elbow. So you're going to have to take your ass up towards the sky there, Lisa. There you go, higher. Higher. That's what I'm talking about. Now start to take that right foot over towards the left side of the mat. And you'll take that knee's gonna rest to the outside. There you go. There you go, Ann. Beautiful. Now, Ann, you gotta your left hand holds on to your ankle. Yeah, it hurts my wrist. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's great. <laughs> there you go. Whatever works for you. Now you're gonna drop the yeah, you want to see what's happening here. Let me grab Batia. Everybody at home. Is, uh, they, can they see Batia from where they're at on the TV? A little lower. That's what it looks like. Now you guys at home do it. Mm-hmm. No pressure. Right, Batia? No pressure. What a cute butt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, a few more breaths. Thank you, Justine. Yes, Sarah. There you go. Nice. There you go, Cindy. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, Sherry, just like that. You got it. Now you're going to make your way into shoelace. So it means the right knee will be on the bottom and the left knee will be on top. Now it feels really good on the shoulder. So take your left arm up towards the sky. Place your left hand between your two shoulder blades. There you go. And then take the right hand behind and have those two palms meet. So we want, want part of the body to soften first. Then on your exhale, fold. Now on the inhale, we're gonna completely back out. See if we can get those hands closer together. And then on the exhale, take it forward. And again, on the inhale, we're gonna back out, bring the hands in closer, really work on open up those shoulders. And then on the exhale, we'll take it forward. Soften into it. And we'll slowly back out. Resignation is kind of like forcing yourself into something, isn't it? Release your hands out in front of you. Come up into your tabletop with your knees crossed. Now, when you're making your transition into your headstand, you want to really connect with your core. See if you can keep your knees together. So engage the balls of your feet. Lift your knees up. Slide your feet in towards each other. There you go. Then you add your eagle legs. Beautiful, Batia. Roll the shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze those arms in so you're using your arm pit bandhas. Unwind your legs, wide-legged straddle. You'll lower them to the floor. And again, take them all the way out as far as you can. Full splits. Mm -hmm. One more big breath, Gaties. Big breath, big breath, big breath. Now leave your forearms down, toe heel your feet in. Now how far can you bring your feet in before you have to transition into your hands? 
And this gives us an opportunity to work through this. Okay, <laughs> you <laughs> making shit up. <gasps> Straighten your arms. Bring your feet all the way in. <laughs> Leave it to a papa. Uh -huh. And then bring your hands to your hips. Come all the way up. Yogis, there you go. Inhale those arms up. Add that chair. We'll add the twist, left elbow, right knee. It's fallen angel, so lower yourself down. Take your hands out in front of you. Rest your right temple to the mat. So what I love about teaching this particular inversion is it reduces fear. So bring your right ear to the mat. And then take your legs up towards the sky. There you go, beautiful Baldwin. Mm -hmm. Both legs, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, both legs. Nice shield, that's where you go. And that's what I'm talking about, up, 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 up. Long holds, I love it. Uh, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Catch your breath. Oh, so good. So I'd like to use the last two poses to sort of get us grounded into the evening. So we're gonna go into pigeon. So you'll take your right knee to your right wrist. Slide the left leg back. You worked really hard. So let's use this time to sort of absorb everything, all the benefits that come to this practice. No, pigeon is a great pose for back bending or if you want to do an additional side body stretch. So if you feel like you want to thread something or grab something, feel free to layer on.
And when you're ready, let's transition. Left side. Good side, number two. This girl doesn't have a mean bone in her body. Now, does everybody know that on February 5th, it's a Friday night from 5 to 6, we're doing a free live stream with DJ Taz? I was going to ask you about that. Mm -hmm. So you can be in the building if you'd like. You can be at home with your friends, a park. He's doing it as a, him and I are both actually doing it as a community outreach. So everybody's welcome. You don't have to have a membership here. It's for everybody, everybody, everybody. Is it for everybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, you see a bachelor party. What? <laughs> like the bachelorette, the bachelor and the bachelorette party. <laughs> but the TV show, is the TV show still on? Oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I well, they could have a yoga party. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was thinking of how they have that TV show and everybody gets together to watch a TV show. Yeah, everybody yeah, together. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should clarify because you were looking at me like, uh. <laughs> 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 nothing, Mama, nothing. Whatever you did on the right, please do on the left.
All right, kids, when you're ready, onto your backs you go. If there's uh, an extra pose you'd like to add to your experience, by all means, feel free. We can use this time to embrace the silence. So you want to use your mask, right? To place over your eyes. That's always a sweet sensation. Let your body sort of get sink into the floor.
Wednesdays are always a great day to do a double because you have vinyasa with me and then yin with batia. It's a, considered a sweet treat. And we're going to roll over to the right side. And then we're going to come up into a comfortable seat. Our eyes can be low or they can be closed. And we'll bring our hands to prayer at the center of the chest. I'm grateful for this day now over. And only the love remains. Mm, shanti, shanti, shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Mm, from my heart to yours, namaste. Have a great night, ladies. Have a great night. Hey, stay in your hearts. Stay in your hearts. Good night, everybody. Stay warm. <laughs> <laughs>